What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. Going to make a quick video here. Uh, get a lot of questions on uh, from customers or from other divers about their dive computers. And the main question they get is, is understanding what you or what you're looking at and interpreting the information that's on a dive computer after a dive. So basically all I've got here, this is my wrist computer that I wear. This is the Mares Matrix. It's, it's designed to be like a watch style computer that you can wear all the time. But at the top, you'll notice where it says DSAT and it says no fly. And then over here on the side, you'll see this little bar graph here that's got a couple colored in blocks. And what we're going to talk about is the difference between DSAT or desaturation of nitrogen and the no fly time. So over here on this little bar graph, you'll see I got one of these little blocks colored in. And that is basically the residual nitrogen that's in my body after a given dive and the DSAT is the exact same thing so basically the the computer is telling me that in a two hour time frame I will be desaturated out of all nitrogen and after two hours this little bar this little colored in block will kind of go away that means my body has bled off all the residual nitrogen that I took in or that I absorbed during that given dive. Now the no fly time is very similar to that, but you'll notice that instead of a two hour time frame, it's like a 20 hour time frame. Now with the 20 hour time frame, even though my body can be desaturated and all the nitrogen has come out, all the residual nitrogen, that is still based off a uh, sea level atmospheric pressure, if you will. If I was to go to altitude where the atmospheric pressure is less, that means there's still some very silent bubbles, if you will, or minute nitrogen bubbles that are there that could still invertedly come out because I would be decreasing pressure as I increased altitude. So basically the DSAT is at normal sea level how much nitrogen is still left in your system. The no fly time is how much nitrogen is left in your system as if you were going to altitude. So that's why you still need to remain out of the water a total of 24 hours before you fly, but yet even though your DSAT says, in this case now I'm down to an hour and 58 minutes, I would still need to remain out of the water for at least 20 hours and 12 minutes before my body is completely desaturated of nitrogen because of the altitude change not here at sea level. So according to my computer, I still got an hour and 58 minutes to desat out, but I got 20 hours and 12 minutes left before I can safely get on an airplane and go to altitude. So guys, if you ever have a question on your computer, how to interpret what it's telling you after a dive, simply put it down in the comment section below. Send me a picture of it. I'll be happy to go over it with you. Ask your local dealer where you bought the computer from or give the manufacturer a call. Usually when you buy a brand new computer, it'll come with a little instruction manual. You can read through it. But guys, if you got any questions on this model or any other computer, simply put it down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to discuss it with you. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate you visiting.